Hi everyone, thank you for tuning in to Here's a Tip again. Um, today I'm going to be talking about hair growth cycles. Is hair alive? The answer is both yes and no. The hair that extends beyond the scalp and covers our head has no blood or nerve endings and therefore feels no pain when cut. On the other hand, from a metaphysical or holistic viewpoint, all hair is believed to hold life force. It is part of the integrated system of being. Hair responds to all of life elements, sun, the water, the wind, and temperature. Hair also reacts to the internal elements of the body, which are stress, emotional and physical shock, diet, drugs, and chemicals. The portions of the hair are, that are totally alive are the papilla, the bulb, the root, and the follicle all under the scalp. The human body has two main hair types, the vellus hair and the terminal hair. Vellus hair is short, fine, and has a downy feel. This type of hair is commonly found in infants and young children until puberty, giving it the nickname baby hair. On adults, Bella's hair can be seen throughout the body as well as seemingly hair-free places like the forehead, the eyelids, the earlobes, and the bald, and bald scalps. There is no Bella's hair on the soles of the feet or the palms of the hands. Bella's hair is colorless. Women normally have 55% more Bella's hair than men do. This fine short hair keeps the body cool by helping um, to effectively um, evaporate perspiration. So those are the little baby hairs we got going on. Terminal hair is long mature hair found on the scalp, legs, arms, backs, and the bodies of both men and women. Except for gray hair, terminal hair is coarser and darker than vellus hair. All hair follicles can produce either vellus or terminal hair. This ability is determined by age, gen genetics, sex, and hormones. Here's a tip. 